Hi folks, today we are going to talk about securing access to Salesforce with multi-factor authentication using WSO2 Identity Server. If you hear about WSO2 Identity Server for the first time, it's an open source identity and access management server released under the most business-friendly Apache 2 license. You can download it from wso.com, go to wso.com, products, identity and access management, and then from here you can download it. You need to have JDK 1.8 plus and uh, you need to configure Java home in your uh, local environment. Once that is done, you can simply start that in the server. In last video, we talked about how to uh, enable single sign on to Salesforce with WS2 Identity Server. This particular video explains all the steps you need to know to get that done. Today I'll, I'll show you briefly how the login works, then I'll enable uh, multi-factor authentication with Fido U2F. Let's get started. Um, I have the identity server already uh, set up in my machine. You need to go to identity server home, bin directory, and then start the server with wsdserver.sh. It will take around 40 to 50 seconds to get started in my local machine. And by default, it starts on HTTPS port 9443. You can change the port uh, using uh, repository con carbon XML. still still not started uh, okay started now now I can log into uh, the management console of identity server it's running on HTTPS localhost 9443 okay. by default identity server comes with an embedded LDAP uh, so I'm using uh, that embedded LDAP user store in a production deployment you can uh, point identity server to an existing active directory LDAP server or a database the default credentials are admin admin so I'm logging with that I'll show you the configuration corresponding to Salesforce. Here under service providers list, it will list out all the service providers and we can see Salesforce. If you click on inbound authentication configuration, SAML to web SSO, Salesforce is using SAML, edit, and here you can see Salesforce related configuration. And I'll just copy this URL. This is my Salesforce domain name. okay so I don't need to do anything here so I'm just showing you what we did last time now let me start private window and try to log into Salesforce okay I got redirected to identity server in this case Salesforce is using SP initiated SAML SSO now I can log in with my local credentials okay done now I'm logged in so this is what we uh, did uh, last time. Now I will show you how to enable multi-factor authentication. Okay, so I'm not, now I'm logged into Salesforce. To enable multi-factor authentication, it's quite straightforward. Uh, once again, you need to go to the service providers list, pick the Salesforce, and then go to local and outbound authentication configuration. So here by default, it is set to default. That means a username and password from the underneath user store. Now to enable multi-factor authentication, I need to click on advanced configuration, add authentication step. The first step would be basic auth. Just click on basic here and click on add authenticator. Okay, so the first step. Then click on add authentication step. So the second step, um, 
going to be FIDO. So FIDO is going to be the de facto standard for multi-factor authentication. Google supports FIDO, uh, Facebook supports FIDO, and then again internally inside Google, all Google employees, they use FIDO to log into their internal applications. Even inside LinkedIn, they use FIDO and it has the backing of many financial institutes. So FIDO is in the right direction to be the de facto standard for multi-factor authentication and WCO identity server supports FIDO U2L. Okay, done. So that's all I have to do. Update. So now access to Salesforce is secured with multi-factor authentication. Then again, each user, now they should have a uh, FIDO key. Let me show you how it would look like if you go to amazon.com search for FIDO U2F yeah, so this is uh, a FIDO security key uh, which is provided by Ubico. I am using this key you won't be able to see it uh, so this is the key I am going to use and then again FIDO is still not supported uh, on Firefox so I need to use Chrome uh, but uh, FIDO support for uh, Firefox is coming and then again Microsoft has a strong support uh, for FIDO so let me show you how to register this FIDO device against my account okay. I want to go to the dashboard now this is a user portal which comes with that in server. Now I'm logging with Prabhat. I mean one, two, three. Okay, he, he doesn't have permission to log in a dashboard. Then I need to go back to identity server here. So last time during uh, the last uh, video, we just created a user. He doesn't have any permission to log into the portal. So what we can do is go to the users and roles list roles and give login permission to the everyone role then all the users will be able to log into the user portal okay now let's go back here i can log in with robot admin one two three okay so this time i am fine I can log in now to associate the FIDO key with my account I need to click on my profile and then manage U2F authentication and now here I have my key with me I need to plug this into the USB click on attach FIDO token and now I need to plug this into the USB and then tap on it okay device registered successfully okay done done okay so now i'm ready to log into salesforce with my uh, with my local credentials plus my fido u2f key so let's try to log into salesforce then now I'm um, logging to Salesforce. It will redirect me to the identity server. Now I can log in with Prabhat admin123 sign in. So now it asks for FIDO verification. I can see a light blinking on my uh, FIDO key which is plugged into the USB. Now I just need to tap it. I just tapped it and now it's verified and I'm logged into. Salesforce with multi-factor authentication okay so you can see this is quite straightforward to set up uh, every one of every one of the employees they need to have a, a FIDO key it's not very expensive like uh, it's getting very popular at the moment it's around uh, $18 but if you buy in large scale it will be around like you can get it around five six dollars uh, so this is a much better option than using 
uh, certificates or other custom protocols because FIDO is a standard, not just uh, Ubico, any, any company can develop uh, keys and other applications uh, to support FIDO U2A. That concludes uh, the video today. Next time, I'll show you how to enable fine grain access control uh, in the login flow itself. You should be able to tell only the admin users or the HR admin people can log into the HR portal. At the same time, you should, you should be able to tell only the sales team people can log into Salesforce. Likewise, I'll show you how easy it is to configure conditional authentication in RD server. Thank you very much.